There's a common misconception that the more something costs, the better quality you're going to get. That is not the case. That is a myth we're trying to debunk. There could be several providers in your community that are providing high quality care at a much lower cost than maybe big names are. And take that extra second, unpack the actual solution and figure out why you're offering it in the first place and then start putting it all back together. While we will always think about how do we save some dollars, it really is more about how do we reinvest our dollars. So we are looking very holistically at not even just our benefit programs, but a lot of our rewards programs as well. You know, we're going through some benchmarking work to see where are we competitive, where are we not competitive, where are our employees actually engaged in these programs, and do we need to do something about any lack of engagement that we see. How can we do little things now intentionally to help support these various generations of our workforce and engage them in the conversation we're trying to have, engage them in the benefits we're offering as an employer so they understand the full value of the total rewards and benefits that we're putting out there. It's at that moment of truth when someone needs to know what's available to them. They need to know, how do I solve for whatever my issue is? It's having that information ready, available, and clear at that moment of truth. At the beginning of the pandemic, there was a notion popularized, it's okay to be not okay. And I think the new sort of evolution of that is, it's not okay to be not okay, and employers should do something about it. Employees are feeling a greater organizational support, and that reduces the negative impact of burnout and turnover and tension. Believing that you have the support of your organization reduces your stress. One of the reasons I have a lot of HR clients is because a lot of times they're at a point in their career where they're stuck. They don't feel like they're being fulfilled. And I'm not talking about looking for another job, but I'm talking about how do you move yourself forward? How do you continue to develop your career? That is really important for organizations to be very transparent about that for their HR teams so that they know how to develop themselves in the organization. An organization's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion is critically important to employees. As benefits and people leaders who are invested in attracting and retaining the best talent, this is an area you should be absolutely focused on. Just as much as employees expect their employers to offer healthcare and PTO, they expect them to invest in DEI.